if we display the Z buffer on that uh, texture the whole time, that means that whether he's behind the wall or not, we're always going to see him. Okay? So we just disable the Z buffer. Now, the next thing we do is we say Direct3D device, and now it's our cams. This is where our cams come in. Device. Put the pointer there. Now, I'm just going to copy this this part because it's. Yeah. Because it's, um, you know, it'll be useful because we've got a couple more of these calls. Then we say set texture. Now these are obviously my colors. We've got four different colors to choose from, and you can find a few more online. Zero, because at the stage we want it to be zero, and we want text green. So I'm saying any Spetsnaz or not for will always be green, okay? So you could end up being in Spetsnaz theme or not. And then we're saying direct 3D, uh, draw index primitive, alright? And all we're doing here is we're, we're saying draw index primitive, direct 3D primitive type. Yeah, so we're just calling this function. So first thing we send in is the device and draw, uh, just read this, no, sorry, base vertex index. It's basically just everything that's in here. So copy this if you like. I'm going to be lazy and do that because it's a lot to write. And just delete these bad boys. Um, hopefully that should work nicely. So base, base vertex index, min vertex index. Um, and my device should be a capital D, which I made a mistake on. And then min vertex index and number of vertices, then start index and prime count. Beautiful. Um, so all we're saying is um, apply the redraw that texture okay that's what we're doing um, and then finally we say direct 3d device set render state um, direct 3d rs z enable and as you can probably guess this is a true so what we're doing here basically is we're saying you know when uh, the draw index primitive gets called which is um, on on the uh, directory dev c plus plus, we're saying right. It does. Don't worry about this for now. We're saying the texture we chose set that texture to um, false. Set the Z buffer on that texture to false, which means we can see it whether it's behind the wall or not, non-stop. And then we paint that texture green. Okay, so whether it's an arm or it's his helmet or whatever, we paint it green, which means we immediately can see him through a wall. But not only can we do that, we can also paint him green so he's very obvious to see and then we call the draw index primitive to actually draw the the texture to so redraws it and then we set the render state to true so what this is doing then is turning the texture back to um, well it's re-enabling the Z buffer so this is happening many times per second so probably about 60 I could be wrong on this but my guess is it's running about depends on your frames obviously on your computer so this is running many times per second and it's turning the tech, the Z buffer off and on off and on and quickly painting him green now you can't see the flashing obviously because it's happening many times but um, it is happening that's how it works and I just copy this basically the whole thing there and just change the texture change the texture to red and this pretty much is our um, our, this is the basis of our wall hack and cams so that's why they are often seen together online because that's how they work so you will get your errors on the sweat that are on for and this as well because we haven't defined those yet and we'll define those in a minute so we've done this function now um, what we're going to do is we're going to write um, grab our um, so let's go to our hacks.h and this is where we're going to write some code um, just below this is where we're going to insert our um, what they called. Let me just go on my thingy. Hacks uh, This is where we're going to insert our. Um, so there, there are primitives basically. So primitives and textures to um, basically uh, set cams on set cams in primitives that should be a nine there yeah okay so this is where we're gonna do that and then just do that whatever just so we know to insert our things here you most definitely do not have to do this that's just my way of remembering where it was uh, so what we're gonna do now right, I'm gonna ask you to start your um, Call of Duty obviously so I've got my videos folder here which I check now and then but don't worry about that so what I'm gonna ask you to do is there's this program here called auto inject so I'm gonna ask you to double click here okay and 
Mine's already set as that. So set your game as IW3MP. And as usual, this fu this um, injector here. Now you didn't actually have to do two injectors, but d don't worry about that. Um, this injector here basically is um, gonna get flagged up in your vi antivirus or whatever. So don't worry about that. I told my um, my FVG to go f itself. It'll probably come up with a warning when I inject it anyway. So don't worry about that. And uh, as usual, this will um, and. Let's just check out the readme here. So big credits to this guy. This guy created this application. We could create our own, but he's already done that for us, so that's quite good. And this was crea created by Strife, so it's his model logger. And what this is going to help us do and really facilitate things for us, um, with this we can find out what textures are what. All right. So what we're going to have is we're going to create for ourselves a nice little environment. Um, in which you can find out the textures. So hopefully, what we'll do is uh, you guys can then carry on this in your own games and stuff, and uh, you should be able to use this. So these are games he's tested on and so on. Um, as you can see here, CSS uses Source Engine, which means it'll work on on any Source game. COD 4 uses obviously the Call of Duty engine, which is made by Infinity Ward, um, which means any COD will work. And Battlefield 2 is I don't know if it's frostbite or not but it doesn't really matter so many many games use DirectX and this will I've tried this in many games and it works for most of them so if you want pause take a look at how this works and I'll I'll just remember it from my old time where I used it so click here double click auto inject alright and then run uh, and hopefully if injected successfully it will hide itself as soon as it runs there you go so well it close itself not hide itself but um, as you can see, my stupid AVG will say it's a virus. It's not a bloody virus. It's just altering memory in the game. Um, okay. So just run it. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, mine will be a bit too slow. I'll try and reduce my settings a little bit so it's not too much of a problem. Because I've got many things going on. I'm actually uploading a video right now. I really shouldn't be doing this, but... Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna restart it quickly. Okay, guys. So I took a bit of a break of uh, about a day because yesterday I recorded the same thing about four times, and uh, well, pretty much I d I saw that that method because I didn't practice what I was doing. That method wasn't very good of getting uh, the textures for us to put our cams in. So. Uh, I'm going to try a little bit of a different method today. I've got some more notes and hopefully this will be more straightforward because yesterday's way of doing things was taking like an hour and a half to find and that is I was just doing it wrong. So basically what we're going to start off by doing is something that I forgot to do yesterday uh, which well for you it's like a, a second ago but basically we're going to initialize our texture so we're going to create uh, create them so we're gonna go to our begin scene on direct 3d net uh, you can search for it begin scene if you like yeah so here you go right here we're gonna we've got this going and that's the text that it came with so we're gonna go hacks dot and this is so that we apply our texture so if we don't do this our texture is gonna come up as black and our comes will always be ba uh, black regardless of what you put in there so because there's nothing within uh, that so create texture uh, should we create texture? Do we have a create texture function? I think we might need to create that. Do, 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 do. Let me just have a look. So create texture. This is something we're going to have to do then. This is something that looks like we're going to have to declare. So, um, his result create texture. Um, do I not have a create texture here? Uh, let me just have a look. There should be a create texture function right there. Hacks dot create uh, texture. If we go on hacks, I'm just checking my notes here on the side quickly. Uh, so there should be create texture function right here. Um, yeah, so here it is. So let's go to our hacks dot hc if we've declared it there. If we haven't, we'll do it now. No, we'll declare it now. So let's just do it just here. So we'll go void um, hacks create texture. Okay, open um, brackets, and we're going to say first thing put our direct device uh, pointer there uh, so we know which device we're using to draw stuff with so and then we go LP um, LPC void color that's the color that we are sending in to create that texture with then you int color size because we're using color arrays there's other ways of doing this but uh, this is the simplest one in my opinion and then we're going to say LP direct 3d texture 
nine, and this is the texture we're gonna, uh, the pointer of the texture we're sending in. So uh, texture and close that. So hopefully that's okay. Let me just double check that. So create texture, direct device, uh, direct 3D device. Help color, uh, color size, and then uh, the pointer to the texture. Okay, that sounds fair enough to me. Now we need to create this uh, function here. So let's go to uh, yeah, so let's go to hacks.c++ and let's write this. So let's go a little bit out because this is one of those initializing um, functions. So we leave it around the top. So put it just below here. So go void. Well, actually, we can just copy that. Let's let's be lazy and copy that. So just uh, so uh, yeah, paste that there. Get rid of the semicolon and open your brackets, and that should be good. Uh, and first thing we're going to do, this is a bit of a long function, but we should be good. So, all in capitals, direct 3D, um, direct 3D, uh, X, C, now back into small letters, create font. That, okay, so if that comes up, it's because you wrote the uh, text right. If you, if you didn't, then um, just tweak it to what I've got mine like. And then we're sending in the direct 3D device, uh, device, 20 for the height because we don't want it to be very big. Uh, create. Is this right? Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm such an idiot. Sorry guys, I was following the function from below. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I was wondering why I was giving it a font size. What in the F was I doing? So yeah, it's direct 3D, uh, X, and then it's similar. Create texture um, from file in memory and you can also create textures from files you load up for example you can create a picture a bit like sprites work you can create yourself a picture store it define it and then you can create um, so if you got like a really cool color or a really cool texture you can you can paint the characters you can put their cams just like that it doesn't have to be a color but for this example we're doing a color uh, if any of you guys are interested in um, using this with textures or anything cool like that, let me know. I don't mind making a quick video explaining that. Although I haven't tried it myself, this is all theory. I'm pretty sure it's quite doable. Color, size, size, and once again, I'm writing color in the English way. If you guys prefer the American way, feel free to do that. Um, I'm just used to this way better. And uh, yeah, that seems good to me. Create texture from file in memory. So we send the device the color we want, the size of the array and the texture we want. That seems good to me. So this is what we have to do because now we go into this bit and we say um, yeah now we can do it. Uh, we go hacks dot create texture. There it is. So we do that and we send that in. Let me just see what we have to write in there. Yeah so what we gotta do is we gotta send in our device. So you can copy this because it's our current device. Uh, the color we want um, we're gonna go L P C void so we pass um, I think it's a pointer I'm not actually sure what this is I've been using this quite a while but um, I'm not actually sure what it is it's a pointer to something I believe but whatever so um, should be uh, be red do we declare these at the top I believe we did um, color size is just go size of be red because we need to send what the size of the array is um, be red and then and hacks we're passing this by reference and uh, hacks dot text red so we're sending um, do we want to what do we want to do for ours do we want it to use green or not let's just have a look at our apply wall hack function see if we can find what color do we want to use uh, it's green we want to use not red yeah so um, where are we where are we du -du -du -du. Yeah, so uh, it shouldn't be B red, it should be B green. Do we have a green? If not, yeah, we have B green, good. That's great. Um, obviously, you guys can do whatever color you want, but we need to initialize the texture and create it. Otherwise, when we do display it on screen, it will be a um, black color, just straight up, straight up black color, and we don't want that. You can have your cams black, but I guess, you know, there's no point doing it this way or creating textures if you're going to do that. Um, yeah, so this is about it. This is all we need for this bit. Let's ignore our solution for now. You can pull an F6, see if it runs fine. It should run alright. Um, what we're going to do now is... Um, I'm going to have to pause and re-record again. But what we're going to have to do now is we're going to find out our strides. and Not our strides, but our vertices and prim counts. And if you haven't heard this before, it's fine. What these basically mean... I'll explain better in-game, but um, what these mean is... Um, 
we're finding the exact textures that the game is drawing. So once we find the play the characters, models, textures, we say instead of doing that, like I explained earlier when we wrote the